What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here and in this next video what we got to do is solve each of these equations here and give the answers as an exact value. So notice that they're both quadratic equations and so the first thing we need to do is bring everything to one side. So starting with number one, notice we could bring the three over and we'd end up with 4x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to zero. Now always with a quadratic equation, first thing I look for is can we factor? But notice that if we multiply the 4 and the negative 3, that would give us negative 12. And there are no integers that multiply to negative 12 and add up to negative 5. And so we can't do this by decomposition, we can't factor it. And so we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula it's negative b plus or minus the discriminant or the square root of the discriminant, which is uh, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. So notice in this case, the a value is 4, the b value is negative 5, and then the c value is negative 3. So we just have to take these, plug it in there. So notice that the b value is negative 5, so negative negative, that would turn into a positive. Then we'll have plus or minus the square root of negative 5 to the power of 2 minus 4. Uh, the a value is 4, and then the c value is negative 3. That's going to be all over 2 times 4, like that. And so what will happen here is we'll have 5 plus or minus negative 5 to the power of 2 is 25. Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16 times negative 3 gives us positive 48, right? These two negatives make a positive here. And this is going to be all over 8. And then 25 plus 48, that would give us 73. And so we would have 5 plus or minus root 73 over a and those are the two solutions the two solutions this is kind of combining them into one but basically this plus or minus we could split up as 5 plus root 73 over 8 and then the other solution would be 5 minus root 73 over 8 like that right and you also want to check if you can simplify further the root 73 though we can't simplify that radical you're going to see in number two we are going to be able to simplify a little bit further that's why i wanted to add another example but in this case the root 73 you can't break that into factors where one of the factors would be rootable right so you can't simplify this any further so these two answers would be the final answers right and notice that they're as an exact value there's no decimals in the solution. All right, so that's number one. Now number two, we're also gonna use the same formula. If we um, bring the four over, we'll have this. And notice nine times negative four gives us negative 36, but there's no two numbers that multiply to negative 36 and add up to positive two. Right, so this isn't going to factor smoothly. And so we would use the quadratic formula again. In this case, the a value is 9, the b value is 2, the c value is negative 4. And so plugging everything in, notice we have positive 2 in this case. So we'll have negative positive 2, which is just negative 2, plus or minus b squared, which is 2 squared minus 4 times 9 times negative four, like that. And that's gonna be all over two times the a value, which is nine. And so we just have to simplify this. Now what's gonna happen here, actually I'll continue this on the side, uh, negative two plus or minus, this will be four. And then notice negative four times nine gives us negative 36, negative 36 times negative four, would give us 144, positive 144, right? The negative and the negative make a positive over here. And then this is gonna be all over 18. 
And so we'll have negative two plus or minus root 148 over 18. And in this case, this simplifies because the root 148, notice how we can rewrite, we could take 148, we could divide it by four. So we could rewrite this as root four times root uh, 37, right? 148 divided by four would give us 37. And then this over here, the root four, that simplifies to two, and the root 37, we can't simplify that any further, right? So we can rewrite this as negative two plus or minus uh, two root 37 all over 18, like that. Okay, and you could check your answer. So you could check root 148, two root 37, those would give you the same decimal in your calculator. And then from here, what can happen is you can now factor out from both of these, you could take out a two, right? When you're factoring from these two, expressions, what you're really factoring from is this coefficient. You can't factor from the radical. You have to simplify the radical first and then when you have a coefficient here, if there's a great, if there's a common factor between this coefficient and this value, then you could factor that. And notice that we could take out the two. And so what would we be left with? Well, negative two, if we take out a two from that, negative two divided by two gives us negative one, plus or minus, and then taking out a two from here, we would just be left with one in front, right? So we could just rewrite this as root 37. Now it's gonna be over 18, and then notice two over 18. That simplifies to one over nine. And so the final answer would be negative one plus or minus root 37 over nine, right? So this and this are the exact same thing, but this is simplified. So you gotta be careful, make sure that this radical here is always fully simplified. Um, and then those are two solutions like before. So it's like x negative one plus root 37 over nine. And then the other solution is negative one minus root 37 over nine. So those are the two solutions for number 